Hey everyone, all right. This is unrehearsed, unplanned. I just happened to have both of these drums together sitting in my collection in the back. So I decided, you know what? One of the questions that I've been getting a lot for the last, I don't know, couple of months is that, can you make a comparison between the frog drum right here and the odd coin. And I happen to have these two drums in the same scale, the G Pygmy. One of the hardest thing to make this review is that they are both really, really good drums. One of the reason why I have the frog and the odd coin. All right, so one of the questions that's been asked many times is that which one sounded better? Which one has the best sounds and which one should I buy? And I will not have, telling you now, I will not have one direct answer. Each one has their own strength and weaknesses, the pros and cons. So I'm just going to play a little bit. Yeah, why do I have two G pick me? One the interesting thing about having two G, G pick me made by two different makers is that each one has their own tonality. So when you play them like this, So this is the frog drum. So we're going to start with the ding. All right, so that's the ding of the G Pygmy. <clears throat> Sustain wise, they are more or less the same. Comparable, give and take, maybe a few milliseconds here and there. But um, if you ask me, okay, again, this is going to be my opinion since I'm right in front of these drums. Um, The frog drum has more of a brighter, ethereal tone to it. Um, the, art, the Art Queen has that ethereal sound. It's more on the mellow side. I think it's more on the um, woodsy side. Maybe I'm not, I might not be saying it right, the woodsy side. Uh, To me, I find that the 
Odd Queen, the sound itself is it's wider as maybe I'm not explaining this right. I feel that it's <clears throat> a lot of the harmonics or the overtone can be heard in that one note. Um, each of the ding, I believe, has about eight overtones. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think they have about eight o overtone to uh, these two ding here. On the frog drum, I feel that the overtone or the harmonics are more collective. It's a tighter uh, harmonics. While I feel that on the Art Queen, it's more open. Um, maybe because the frog drum has skeletons under here or under the shell. Skeleton means it has braces that collectively um, maintain or control the sounds or the tone. While the art coin doesn't have any braces or skeleton, so they are using this the circle. That's why on the art coin, each of the uh, cut out tongues are uh, enclosed in a circle, just like the hand pen. So the harmonics may be a little bit um, over ringing, over ring, because depending on how on where you strike it. The harmonics will play depending on where you strike the uh, tongue collectively. I think that that's how uh, the sounds are created. While on the frog, it's very similar to the raft bass. Um, the tongue are cut into, you can see like little panelings here, like the braces where the skeletons are. Um, and that's what I guess control the, the sound and the harmonics. And one thing that I do find after playing the Odd Queen for a while, correct me I'm wrong, again, I find that each note um, or each tongue has a sweet spot. I find it interesting because it's almost like the handpan um, that so that's me playing right in the middle of the tongue or striking in the middle of the tongue. And the same thing that I just played here, I'm playing it smack in the middle of the tongue. So now if I'm going to hit the uh, or play and tap the uh, odd queen, So what I just did, I just played almost at the, um, what I call it, not the middle, but I'm playing like different parts almost at the end of the, of the cut of the tongue. And you can feel that the harmonics are more geared towards what is on here. Um, and now this is the frog drum. I think that this is going to be kind of hard to, for me to capture over this um, little recorder here, but I'm going to leave this recording unedited, um, not going to use any effects, uh, not any EQ, so I'm just going to let it record and you guys can hear exactly what they sound like. It's, I'm not sure if whatever I just played will be captured by the uh, recorder, but yes, 
I'm going to try to give you guys a clean, unedited uh, review on how what my take on these two drums right here. So now we'll go to the rest of the notes. So the Peter Patter that you just heard a while ago, that was my dog walking around the house making that sound. So size wise, both are pretty much comparable in sizing. Weight, I wish I have a scale to um, weigh this, but the frog drum feels that it's a bit heavier than the Art Queen. Um, Anything else that, uh... so in conclusion, as I said earlier, asking me to, to give you an answer, a straight answer would be, I like both drums. I like both drums because someday that I prefer the sound of the Art Queen. Someday if I prefer the sound of the Frog Drum. So which one is better? It's I think that you can you can not go wrong with either or. Um, the frog is a fantastic drum for the price. It's fantastic. The odd queen is the same thing for the price. It's a fantastic drum. Um, hey, or be like me, just buy both. I know it's kind of crazy. Um, I do have a few drums that have similar scale and then I ended up selling the one that I'm not playing much. Like uh, my D major, I have my Art Quaint and the Raph Vass, uh, the newer one, the blue with the uh, with, uh, brass ring and end up selling the Raph Vass and kept my Art Quaint because I prefer the sounds of the Art Queen better than the Raph Vass. But again, that's another topic. That's a different uh, video, I guess I'll make that one day, comparison-wise. But uh, as far as sound goes, if you want of a more um, muted, woodsy, but yet ethereal sounds, and I think that the Art Queen is the way to go. 
if you want an ethereal ringing sound, um, I would say go with the frog drum. And to me, the frog drum reminds me of the RAF vas with the rubber rim. I actually have two RAF vas here, or the older generation, with the rubber rim that I preferred over um, my newer RAF vas that has the brass ring. Again, it's a personal preference. If you never played the old one, or the, old, the older RAF, you're probably going to find the RAF Vass, um, the new one, a fantastic drum. And I don't think that this is something um, that I'm trying to say, look for the old one, uh, buy the old one, don't buy the new one. It's subjective. I think that the new one looks fantastic. It sounded great. It sounded fantastic. So it's subjective to what you find um, appealing to you or what resonate with you and I'm just going to play it now two of these drums in the G Pygmy scales and I'm just going to let the sound ring and I think combining the tonality or the timbre of each drums you almost create a very um, a different sounds combining technology from two of the most, uh, I guess, one, two of the most uh, um, great or wonderful uh, tongue pan makers in the world today, Art Queen and The Frog. Probably be hearing some like scratching sounds or footsteps on the floor. That is my dog right there staring at me, scratching himself. So sorry about that scratchy sounds, but uh, so yeah, so this is the uh, my review and my take of uh, on the uh, G Pick Me tongue drums by Raf uh, by uh, Frog Drum and by Art Queen. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. And see you guys soon.